Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a scenario wherein we have on-prem machines, on-prem domain for which we have identities like user accounts and computers sync to cloud using Azure AD Connect but we do not have any connection between Azure and our on-prem like a VPN connection or Express route connection so really we cannot build VMs on the cloud and join them to our on-prem domain one of the ways to join them to the on-prem domain would be to have a domain controller set up as a VM on the cloud and it would require connection with our on-prem domain using VPN or express route or we can have a child domain in the cloud that would also require setting up domain controllers in VMs on the cloud with VPN and or express route connection between uh, Azure and our on-prem domain but in this case we do not want to have a VPN or express route we just want to set up domain controllers in the cloud so how do we do that for this Microsoft has a service which is called Azure ADDS it's a pass service wherein you can have your domain set up on the cloud without being able to deploy any domain controllers and it will sync identities from Azure Active Directory as we already have Azure AD Connect which is syncing our identities to Azure Active Directory for from Azure Active Directory we will sync the identities to Azure ADDS this will give you a benefit in a way that you can actually lift and shift your servers uh, for example file servers or maybe any application which is running on prem and you want to move it to cloud but you can't actually record it to publish it in cloud as a pass or there is no SaaS service available which could replace that but you want to move that to cloud and you do not have a connection between your on-prem and cloud after we set up Azure ADDS in cloud uh, you can set up your virtual machines in cloud and make them join the domain so this is my Azure portal I already have Azure AD connect installed on my on-prem and identity sync to Azure AD so we will now set up Azure ADDS which is platform as a service I will search for Azure ADDS here which is Azure AD domain services I will click on create Azure AD domain services I will create a new resource group RG4 domain name would be my on-prem domain name I will set it up in Australia Southeast I will select standards group I will leave the forest type as user because it will sync both my cloud accounts and my on-prem accounts which have been synced to cloud using Azure AD Connect this uh, resource one will only sync cloud accounts and will require VPN or uh, express route connection to our on-prem domain here uh, I will modify the subnet and the virtual network this I am doing because I will keep a separate subnet for my Azure AD DS and the VMs which I will create here I will select users and groups which will have access on my Azure AD DS they won't get domain admin or enterprise admin rights they will only have rights on Azure AD DS so already my users are here so that's fine I will click on next synchronization type I will leave it as all if I do scoped then I have to select the groups which I want to synchronize but I will leave it all and then I will do review and create I'm going to click on create now and the whole process will take around one hour so I will come back once it's uh, finished so I'm gonna pause the recording now the installation is still going on of Azure ADDS let me show you in my resource group I could see two network interfaces and a load balancer so it suggests that it is installing two instances of uh, past domain controllers and they are load balanced 
also the vnet is there and the network security group is there if i click here uh, the managed domain is being provisioned the this operation will take a while so it's already been one hour i think it's gonna take some more time so i am going to pause the video now so the installation is now finished and let's go to properties these are the two ip addresses for the domain controllers in azure adds under overview we see the option to update the dns settings for virtual network so i'm going to configure it and it's going to update the dns ip addresses of the virtual net and point to my dcs so here it has updated it now i'm going to create a vm in the virtual network and i will join the vm to the domain so i will click on add here give it vm1 name select australia southeast because that's where my virtual network is i will deploy windows server 2012 r2 change the size i have specified the user account i want rdp to be open this is fine in subnets uh, i already created another subnet for vm so i will select that out boot diagnostics off next review and create i will create the vm and once it's created i will connect to it and uh, start the video so i'm going to pause now my vm is ready now and i am connected to it now i will try to join the machine to domain Okay, the machine has joined to domain and it is asking me to restart it so let's do that once it restarts i will rdp into it and start the video let me pause it now i will try logging in to the machine now so i will specify the upn and the password okay yes and i am able to log into the machine now i would install rset tools on this machine to manage uh, my azure adds the installation has finished now let's have a look at these tools so this is my ad user and computers here it's showing me my vm1 these are the user accounts uh, which have been synced for my on-prem and also my cloud accounts this so this is domain admin ou and the dcs admin is member of it so these are the two domain controllers which it has set up under pass azure adds So this is Active Directory Domains and Trust. This is Active Directory Administrative Center. I would now install the group policy management console. Let's wait for it to finish. Here is my group policy console. So we see default domain policies and some new ones here. Default domain controller policy. None of my on-prem policies are here as they shouldn't be. 
so this was uh, a small demo on how to join machines to domain on uh, azure without having any direct connectivity over on-premise domain controllers where we use the azure adds feature i hope you like this video and i will see you in my next one soon bye bye